Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to, well, I'm going to be going over my writing process. Process? Because I don't, I kind of have one, but it's kind of a vague assembly of a process. And in truth, it only goes up to like finishing draft one because that's about as far as I've gotten. But hey, you might be interested anyway. <laughs> so the first step in my process is an idea. Kind of, kind of a given. You can't write a story without an idea. Maybe you can. That'd be interesting. Hmm. Don't know how that would work. Um, as I've mentioned in plenty of other videos, generally my stories are inspired by something, whether that be a story or a music video or whatever, they're generally inspired by something. In general, and I guess not really in general, just the way it is for me, I either have the idea for a character first or the world. 90% of the time it's a character first and then I kind of build a world around them. But occasionally I get an idea for the world and then I've got to build the characters and that's a whole other thing. Very, very rarely, I will actually get an idea for a plot, and then I've got to build everything around the plot. Which is incredibly difficult. I have done it once, and it wasn't good. <laughs> that requires a whole restructure of that story. Step two for me is to write down any of my initial ideas. So that may be what the characters are. Uh, abilities, personalities, traits, that kind of thing. If I started with the world or I have an idea of a world that goes with them, I will write down things like the genre. Um, for me that's fantasy, urban fantasy, romance. A timeline, if I have one, which I generally don't. Um, matter of fact, I only have one story so far that I've started a timeline. And I actually realized that I have another story that I need to timeline to make sure it works well. Just really general stuff about the world to get it out of my head and on paper, paper and just make sure it's all in one place. Next, I will flesh out the characters. So fill out character sheets, do all the research. I have a video that goes over my entire character creation process. It's long, but it explains it. I hope. Then I will flesh out the world. So that means all of my world building pretty much happens at this phase. I'll do questionnaires about the world. I will figure out where the characters fit. I will figure out magic systems and just anything I can think of that involves the world, I do there. Now, obviously or not obviously for some, who knows, um, there's always stuff that pops up as you're writing the story or as I'm writing the story that I will then go back and add to that file of world building. But I try and get as much of it figured out prior to starting the story as possible. Then I create a very, very vague plot skeleton. And really all this is, is me jotting down things that I think would be interesting, things that I, you know, start brainstorming those larger ideas like, hey, what kind of arc do I want this to have? Do I want them to go on some grand adventure? Do I want th just anything that I think would be interesting? This is where I write it down. Also, sorry, I keep looking off this way. I don't, mm. Then... I will create a more detailed plot. This is where I actually go and I find a um, an outline template and use that to help me create a proper outline. And even then, it's more detailed than just the ideas and stuff that I wrote down, but I still try and keep it kind of vague and open so that I can play around within the story. For example, in Blood Brothers, that was the first story I'd outlined, and there were scenes where I knew there would have to be a fight or 
they would have to infiltrate someone's house or something like that. And on the plot, all it said was, fight occurs, this is the outcome. Or infiltrate such and such, this is the outcome. I never explained how it was going to happen. I didn't explain anything to myself. I just said, this is what's got to happen here. That way, when I actually got to writing it, I could either decide that that wasn't appropriate for that point in the story, or I could kind of just go with what felt right for that particular scene. It was vague, but it told me what to do. So after I have the outline done, and I'm pretty satisfied with the where that is, I will start drafting. I use Scrivener. There's a whole thing I could get into about Scrivener, especially for Windows, but that's not the place here. Um, needless to say, it isn't as built up as it is for Mac, but I like it. It helps me stay organized and I like what I can do with it. Plus having the ability to split screen while you're editing is after I get done the first draft. And I'll be the first to tell you that takes so much time. So much time. I will then give it to someone to read. And because this is the first draft that they're reading, they're not going in for grammar, they're not going in for anything other than, hey, do any of the characters seem like complete jerkwads that you don't want to read anymore? Or, hey, does this sound like it's interesting? It's just strictly to make sure I'm on the right place. If you choose to go that route, which, by the way, is not for everyone, that's just what I do because that's what I do. Um, one, make sure they realize it is the first draft and it's not even remotely close to good. <laughs> Two, hell, unless your first draft is, in which case you need to teach me how you do it that your first draft is that good. Two, well, have someone you trust read it. I have family that will read for me and I know that they won't completely shred my self-esteem over it. Just saying, let it be someone you trust. While they're reading it, I take a month to two months away from my story just so I can work on other things, get, get my brain out of that so I can approach it with fresh eyes. But after that, I'll start the second draft. And that is actually the extent of what my writing process is right now. Um, this is the furthest I've ever gotten on a story. And if you'd like, I can update you as I learn more about my process as I get further along in it. Because I do fully intend on this story I'm working on, or I should say the story I've just finished drafting, I fully intend to edit and take all the way to querying and just that'll be an adventure <laughs> that is my process as of right now let me know in the comments what is your process look like do you have a favorite part of your writing process or do you have a process at all thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video bye